So now that we've, in our previous lessons, we've learned how to open the case correctly, we've learned how to name the different parts of the trombone, but it's really important that we spend some time learning about the way you shape your lips. We call exactly. it, what do we call that? Mr. We call that the embouchure. Right. Fancy word, but we also call it the band phase. Okay. So it's like, we're gonna learn how to shape our lips and our mouth, how to properly play the mouthpiece. And Mr. Olson is gonna teach you how to do that right now. A lot of different teachers use different words to help you come up with the correct mouth setting. Some people say M, some people say hmm. I've heard some teachers say M and M. Usually the word I use is the word firm. When you finish saying the word, leave your mouth closed in the M sound. So like this, firm. Step two is that we want the corners of our mouth right here to have a little bit of firmness to them, but we don't want the middle to be tight. We want the middle to be loose so that it can vibrate. You always want to take a really deep breath so you have as much air inside you as possible to make the sound and you breathe low down into your belly. Take a breath, firm, and then I blow with my mouth in that shape with that M. The next step is to gently firm up the corners, we'll use that word again, until your mouth gets to the point where you get an actual vibration with your lips and you get a sound. Now that sounds pretty strange right now, but that does translate into your sound for your trombone. Boys and girls, some beginners can get this right away with no problems and others have a little bit more time that they have to work at it. And that's okay, if you're not getting that buzz right away, just keep working at it. You wanna make sure that you remember that you're practicing with the corners of your mouth being firm here, but the middle being loose so they can vibrate. 